Uh, here, as you can see, I'm joined by Theo Williams, our recent loan signing from Fleetwood Town. Theo, how are you settling into life at Playmore? Yeah, it's nice. The um, training's good, the lads are good. I think it's a nice place to be. It's obviously a long way south from Fleetwood at most places when compared to Torquay are. So uh, has that caused any issues for you at all? Uh, not really, just a long drive down here, but once I settled in, it's fine. It's a nice little place. And how have the lads welcomed you to Torquay United? Yeah, they're all good lads. Um, as soon as I got in the training, they was all nice. There's all, all confident, so it's all good. Now, I understand you're in the, the Gulls Lodge at the moment. That's always quite a lively place to be, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, got a few characters in there, but they're all nice lads. And of course, on the pitch, Theo, you scored your first goal for the club against Haverton Waterlooville. That must have been a nice moment for you. Yeah, I think definitely needed it. Uh, I think as a striker, you always want to score goals wherever you go. So that first one, hopefully I can get more now. Is that really the key, Theo? Obviously, when you're, you're a striker, obviously you are judged on, on goals, whatever anybody says. Mm. Getting that first one nice and early? Yeah, I think when you get the first one, you just want to go more and more and you get that confidence and that lift of having the first one. So hopefully I can get more now. And of course, on Saturday, both the strikers got to speak, you and Brad Ash. How's that partnership going? Yeah, I do like playing with Brad. We, we sort of bounce off each other. Like We like each other quite close. So I feel like it's a lot more comfortable playing with him because he's a good lad. Now you began your career obviously at Sheffield United before moving on to Fleetwood. Um, tell us about your, your, your upbringing at, at Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. Uh, yeah, I was there from the age of 11 to about 19 I think. Uh, that, was, that was good, it was a good time. Me and my dad used to go up there every other day training and yeah, I really enjoyed my time there. Obviously you spent so much time at Sheffield United but then moving on to Fleetwood and then National League South football with Torquay United. That doesn't seem to have phased you at all in your pursuit of first team football. No, I definitely think I'm at the part of my career where I need to play men's football. You know, the physicality of it is different to 21s and I think I need that for my game. But playing at this level isn't anything new to you. You had some valuable experience in National League North with mm. uh, Farsi Celtic and, and Darlington last season. Farsi Celtic's spell was actually very productive for you. You spent a, spent a big part in keeping the club up. Yeah, um, I enjoyed my time at Farsley. I think, again, in my career, like, my development, I definitely needed that. And, you know, going there, getting the confidence, getting the goals, like, proved to myself that I can play men's football. So I'm here to prove that as well. Now, um, obviously, we're here at Playmore this season. It's quite quiet now, but obviously, you, your first experience of playing at Playmore, it was a very vibrant atmosphere and that. How have you taken to the Yellow Army home and away from Playmore? It's definitely a lot more than I've ever played in front of. Um, I do like the fans, I do like the you know the lift that they give you and the cheering and stuff, so I really like it. Now looking ahead to Saturday, FA Trophy is a, is a, maybe a new competition for, you, for yourself. We're going to be playing Yeovil Town. Nice to just get one up over them after losing the league match. Yeah, definitely. They're a tough side. Tough day for us all, but I think all the lads are motivated to go get one back over them. It's been great catching up with you and we continue to wish you every success during your time here at Playmore. Thank you.